Thank you very much, Cahirlik, and uh, welcome to the House Minister. Um, I've, like others, I've given my personal submission on the NDP and indeed through the, the, the different committees, Climate Action, Disability and indeed Public Expenditure, which I'm on, we have collectively contributed. I think it's a very important review and it's a really important opportunity to think in a, in a deep way about how we shape uh, the places within Ireland in the future, the services within Ireland in the future. Um, Minister, I'm not going to repeat all the points in my own submission. I'm going to actually go just to the five areas that you've signalled today are going to be important for you uh, and are going to be important to your department in the review. The level of public investment. I believe it will need to be adjusted upwards. The signal we have seen from the IMF are telling us that we need to spend more. Uh, they are aiming a, a borrowing of at least 1% of GDP if needed. Uh, we see the EU talking about stimulus and a general recognition that we're at a moment when stimulus is both needed and advised and is also very possible. Uh, th there are opportunities at the moment which are somewhat unique. In the temporary suspension, for example, of the EU fiscal compact rules, we have an opportunity to front load some projects off balance sheet in a new and different way to really deliver very ambitious and early uh, projects in terms of our uh, public services and our capital infrastructure. We know that there are dedicated recovery and resilience funds, just transition and Brexit funds, and indeed, Minister, I would encourage the use potentially of a multi-fund approach, uh, because I know that that is something that is working well in other countries where we see a multi-fund approach to different projects that are seeking uh, to, to secure funding. And of course, borrowing is more available and at a lower rate than previously. And I say this uh, in a way that is thought through, it is careful, but it is around the responsibility to make sure we make the best of the opportunities that are there now to create things that will have a, to pay dividends for many, many decades to come. So this is about investment. It's still about investment, but it's about investment in a way that we maybe couldn't do previously. And I think it's important that we are ambitious uh, about that. In terms of the second and third points, that share of capital expenditure across departments and the, and the delivery of uh, policy priorities in the programme for government, Minister, I think the share will need to be adjusted if we're to meet commitments, for example, the commitments on, on the ratio of public transport uh, to private transport. That might require a serious increase in what we spend on public transport so that we look to more and new opportunities. In terms of other policy opportunities, it is important with climate action that we have a joined up approach and that we make use of the tools that are there, like the environmental impact assessment mechanisms, the EU directives that are there, that we use those in an effective way to make sure not only that we have projects to deliver climate action, but that all of our development projects are taking us forward in terms of climate action and that they're not taking us backwards. And that's the thought through approach that I think is important. In terms of retrofitting, we want to raise our level of ambition and I think that's an opportunity uh, in terms of employment as well, of course. And I would suggest, Minister, there are other issues that have emerged during the last year of COVID-19 where we have seen, for example, the need for better care infrastructure in Ireland. And indeed, as Senator Kine has said, community spaces, indoor and outdoor, and the importance of access to that kind of shared public space uh, in communities across Ireland. Um, in terms of your fourth area, the area of regional balance and compact growth, I think regional balance is crucial. I hope that we have ambitious public transport uh, in rural Ireland as well as in urban Ireland. And in terms of compact growth, it's important that that is livable compact growth, that we look to the, the issues of livability, do we make sure that families can live in our city centres, and that is important in terms as well of the sustainable development goals and SDG 11 on uh, sustainable cities and communities. I feel there's really useful tools and examples there, and it's really important that the National Development Plan engages in a constructive way with local development plans and indeed with local representatives. And finally, we come to governance. And Minister, Governance is absolutely the key. We know, and I, I really welcome hearing about the major projects advisory group, that recognition that more thought earlier in the process leads to better outcomes. But I would suggest that we need to follow through by making sure we empower all the decision makers along the way to put more thought in earlier in the process. The, the major projects advisory group is a really positive step 
But we have to make sure that procurement officers and contracting officers are thinking about quality. And that is why, Minister, I'm hoping that the government will support my legislation and send a signal by supporting my quality and public procurement bill this Friday, which will make it clear that when we think about public spending, we think about quality and we think about price. And that has happened successfully in the Netherlands, where they are seeing their capital infrastructure delivered on time to a higher quality and without significant additional cost because they ask for the information, all the information, up front and at the beginning level. And my bill will also ask you, Minister, and I will really you know, be, be making this as important to make sure that we have on projects over the EU public works threshold of 5.35 million, that we set a minimum target of 50% quality. We've seen what happens when we let low-ball bids win or when we deal with supplementary claims after the fact. The National Children's Hospital was 75% price and only 25% quality. Minister, I'm hoping you will support my bill as part of the reform and as a signal of commitment to the reform of governance to make sure we get more from our public spending, we do more with our public money and that we get better capital infrastructure for all our citizens across this country. Thank you.